everyone, Kelly of Kelbell Studio here with the Miss January video. Miss January Paper Couture Paper Wardrobe Project is this lovely, lovely cocktail dress. So you're going to have a fab time putting this together. Very simple, very easy, and you're going to love it. So this month's template, appropriately, is New Year's Eve. This is what your template's going to look like. I'll leave a link in this video and also in the description. You can find this on my blog. And this is what we're going to work with for January, at least one of them anyway. I don't know, I might do another one for winter. And once you've got your template cut out and put together, mine looks something like this, the little black dress, classic little black dress. The covering of this is going to be the same as the Christmas dress. There was a special handling of this back piece and then the basic tank will give you instructions for covering the rest of it if you have never seen one of my videos before so this is we're starting from this point for those who have been with me before and all I did for this bottom part look how cute that is is used a mini scallop scissor and I just cut across the bottom so, what we've got, the new thing that we've got, is a little peplum. And this is what this looks like cut out of my paper. And it's just going to go around like that. So I'm going to show you a little technique. So here's my piece. And how I cut this out, this is how my piece looks like. Just a flat is you're just going to lay it on the top part of your decorative paper. You're going to take a stylus and go around this... <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> She's my little talker. Anyway, you want to go around the outline of this waistline. Yes, if you could see it, that would help. With your stylus, because you're going to want to fold it. Because what I've done is I've left an allowance around this outside and what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to cut these little slits in it so when you put it around your dress it's it won't be flat against the dress it'll give it a little bit of lift there we go so it'll give it some lift that's better you can see how that works so that's what we're going to do. Oops. So the way to accomplish that is template down on your top side of your decorative paper. You just want to score around this waist and also the flaps down the side. You guys can't hardly even see this, can you? Okay. Now we're talking, right? Score around this waist here and then these lines here and then go ahead and just cut out the rest of it. So what you end up with is something that looks like this and then you're going to cut your slits because that will allow your tabs to fold down like that. And then the other thing that I have done with this is I've taken a bone folder and given it a curve. Let's do that with this one. Just give it a little curve. And one of the things that I rather liked was the way these flaps curved in show you with this one. This one is just a sample. But look how nice that looks with that little curved in look. I love it. So my tabs I've, are already cut and I'm just going to fold them down and I'm using my score line, you can see that, as my guide. down carefully and 
And then I'm just going to slightly fold on my score lines on the side because I may need to adjust these. I mean, they do fit in the back, but because of the thickness of your dress, you may need to adjust slightly. So then you're just going to place it around the waist. <laughs> this gets tricky. And fold it over. And this part may take some finagling, but your end pieces should match up. And mine do. So I like to try to get this in the center, which may mean that you're messing around with how far up or down this comes on your waist. I'm the perpetual perfectionist, so this has to be centered for me. So I'm just going to finagle this off camera until I get it how I like it, and then I'll be back. I've got this pretty well positioned how I like it, and once you do have it how you like it, I would just hold it in place and start gluing like these, I'm going to glue these two tabs here and then I'll fold it over and glue it down and that way I can release it because I know that this is already going to be in place once I lift my finger off of it, if that makes any sense. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So here this is and pretty much you only have one shot at this, otherwise if you start sliding this around then you start messing up your your dress. So I highly recommend that once you get it into place you know, you sort of pinch and then glue your, start gluing a little bit at a time. And then once you've got your little peplum glued on, it looks something like this. Quite cute, isn't it? So now we can continue embellishing and what I have decided I want to do is give this a little sleeve treatment. So I've got this uh, little strip that I've edged in the same with the same scissors that I did the bottom because you want to be consistent. And it's just a strip oh about two and a quarter inches long and I'm just going to fold it in half. And give it a snip. This is going to go right down the center of one of these little scallops, so I'm just going to snip the other part off. You see what I mean? Down the center, so I'll just snip it so they're even. And then what I can do is give it a curve. Fold this sort of in half. And then I can slip it up under this ribbon. And I want more showing at the top than I do at the sides because I want this to sort of flare out. Something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on and I'll be back. And I've uh, glued the paper on and now I've got a cute little sleeve treatment. Ooh floaty here. So this is how this is uh, shaping up. The next thing we can do is add a little black ribbon, some satin ribbon around that, and then maybe some glitter to define some of these edges a little bit, and then we'll be done. So I'm just using quarter of an inch black satin ribbon, and we can just take it and wrap it around our dress like this to give it a little belt. It's cute, huh? And then once we get the belt on, she's looking real nice. And then the last thing I'm going to do to embellish this is add a little stickle around this. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. You guys didn't just see that. My cat just jumped on my back. <laughs> so I'm just going to go around this edge. This might take me a little longer. Go around the edge and when I get done I'll be back and show you. So once we've added the stickles and they have dried, this gives her a nice bit of bling because what New Year's Eve is complete without some sparkles, right? I've added some down at the bottom which gives it kind of a lacy look and around the peplum, peplum which defines it a little bit and the neckline and also the sleeves along with just a little tiny Swarovski crystal. So she is pretty complete. I mean I suppose you could go further if this, with this if you wanted to but I am all for the simple but elegant look for New Year's Eve. So then you can just slip in your hanger, and I don't know if this is going to work because I've been having some challenges with this hanger today. Of course it works off camera, just not on camera. But anyway, this is how she looks. And she looks fabulous, divine, love it. And I hope you do too. So if you do complete this project with my template, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment on my blog along with a link to your work so that I can have a peek. And Hope you enjoyed this. Happy New Year. Happy 2012, everyone. Thanks for joining me.